There are three types of people in this world. Watch this video to find out which one of the types of people you are and what that means for you. So the first type of person is called a stressor. The stress is determined. The stressor wants to get to this goal. They start taking action. They start moving towards their goal. They start saying, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm getting closer. And then at some point they hit what we call a plateau. So what do they do in order to move to the plateau? They stress out. They literally go, oh my God, okay, how do I do this? Should I try this? Okay, maybe I try this. Okay, let me try this way. Okay, everyone else, get out of my way. Eventually, they have a breakthrough. So they're off again and they're off on their journey and they're working really hard until eventually they hit another plateau. They repeat the pattern and they continue to stress out. Now, the good thing about the stressor is that they have a lot of perseverance often, so they do actually achieve their goal. Yet, if you're a stressor and you're seeing this pattern within yourself right now, ask yourself, is this really the most sustainable way to live your life? So the next type of person is called the dabbler. And so just like everyone else, the dabbler takes massive action and off they go. They start going for it. They start getting closer to their goal. And then eventually what happens? They hit a plateau. Now, here's the thing. The dabbler does something a little bit different to the stressor. The dabbler gives up. And the dabbler says, you know what? This actually wasn't for me. That's not my thing. I didn't really want that goal. You know what? I'm going to try this other thing over here. And so they start something new. And off they go and they start something new and they're working towards their goal and then eventually they hit a plateau. What happens? The dabbler says, well, that wasn't my thing either. In fact, watch me do this. I'm going to make it like this. Here we go. And they start out and they start doing this new thing and you see how the pattern keeps repeating. Now, the sad thing about the dabbler is that often they don't actually achieve their big goals because they're constantly restarting something new in a hope that maybe one day they'll make it. And then there's a third type of person. This type of person is called an achiever. And this person does something quite different to the stressor and quite different to the dabbler. So the achiever starts off and they start taking massive action and off they go, they're moving closer towards their goal and then what happens? You know the story, they hit a plateau. Now what's different about the achiever is that they do not stress out at this point in time and they definitely do not give up. The achiever does something different here. Step number one, the achiever firstly stops, they stop. Secondly, they reconnect with why they want to get to this big goal. It's in those moments of the plateau that they reconnect to the big reason that's actually driving them to the goal. Step number three is that the stressor finds someone who has either gone through this plateau or who has helped someone go through this plateau before. And when they find that person, they tell them, look, I'm going through this plateau right now and it's hard and I'm struggling and I'm overwhelmed. And that person, that mentor, that coach who's been through that before says to them, oh, Listen, Achiever, I remember that plateau. Here's what you need to do. Stop doing this, start doing this, stop doing this, start doing this. The Achiever says, thank you so much. And they go and they take action and off they go and they get closer to their goal. And then what happens? Just like every other human, they hit a plateau. But once again, they follow the steps of the Achiever instead of stressing out and instead of giving up. And what this means is that the achiever not only reaches their big goal, they do it with ease. So the big difference between the achiever and then the other types of people is simply that the achiever follows in the footsteps of the people who've been there before. I know for many of you, you've maybe associated with being the stressor or being the dabbler. And I want you to know that people are not their behavior. People are not their behavior and you have a choice right now as to which type of person you choose to become. So if you're choosing right now from this moment to become an achiever, comment below and let me know that you're committed to being an achiever in this world.